Okay guys, nice to have you here. Um, over the next 15 minutes or so, uh, I'm going to try and take you through as many cool things in Horizon as I possibly can. Um, Andy's going to be doing the driving for me. Um, but before we jump into the game, I really just want to give you some background um, on how Forza Horizon came into existence. So, it's almost exactly two years to the day that I first met Dan Greenewalt and the guys from Turn 10. Here in LA, we had dinner uh, and we talked about video games, we talked about racing games, car culture. And Dan really explained to us what his vision for the Forza franchise is. The Forza Motorsport has been going from strength to strength over the years. We as developers have been acutely aware of exactly all, all the things that those guys are doing, but Dan always wants more. Um, his vision is to turn car lovers into gamers, gamers into car lovers. Uh, and that ambition, you know, the ambition of that statement really resonated with us. We set Playground Games up to make racing games which make a difference. So making a new instalment in the Forza series enables us to do just that. So Dan challenged us to go away and think about ways that we could bring something entirely new to the Forza series. And that's exactly what we've done, that's exactly what Forza Horizon is. We imagined car culture where it meets youth culture. And we wanted to create a place where cars belong. That place is the Horizon Festival. So to think of the Horizon Festival, imagine a place which is a mecca for car lovers. Part race meet, part auto show, part summer music festival. A place you can take your car and your friends, a place where you can go to compete, or just to have fun and show off. A place where music and speed and style all collide. So we created the Horizon Festival as the conceptual starting point for everything in our game. And after we had created it, a lot of things fell into place about our game. For example, we knew immediately we were making an open world game. Because if the Horizon Festival truly is a mecca for car lovers, surely it's surrounded by the world's greatest driving roads. We knew lots of other things about our world as well from, from that. We knew it had to be vast for you to explore. We knew it had to be environmentally diverse. So it was always something new around each corner, over each bend, each crest. And we also knew that it had to be visually stunning. It had to offer fantastic scenery that just begged you to drive into it. So we started researching. We looked for places in the world which met all those criteria. Uh, and we decided upon Colorado in the United States as ticking all of those boxes. So we knew a bunch of other things about our game as well once we created the Horizon Festival. We knew that we wanted to create a really authentic, vibrant festival atmosphere within our game. So we went to a guy who has the inside track on that. His name is Rob DeBank. And in the UK, he's a radio DJ, he's a record label owner. But most relevantly, he's the founder and curator of two of the UK's biggest summer music festivals. And he's been on board with Horizon right from the start, advising on the authenticity on our festival, and also curating the soundtrack, which accompanies all your driving within the game. And finally, we knew that the Horizon Festival couldn't just be about racing. It couldn't just be about who's coming first. It had to be about style and showing off as well. And we had to find as many cool things to do in cars in our great world of Colorado that we could. And that's exactly what we've gone ahead and done. So before we jump in, I want to talk to you about why Forza Horizon is an action racing game. And I'm going to explain what that means. Action racing is all about pick up and play fun. If you love driving cars fast on the open road, you're going to be able to pick this game up immediately and enjoy it. But action racing is about more than just pick up and play accessibility. It's also about authenticity. Now, open world driving games of the past have been characterized by arcadey handling, which is fine. But what happens in those games is that all the cars start to feel the same. If that just doesn't work for Forza. In Forza, the car is the star. We believe every car is special. Every car has a unique personality. That's why we go to crazy lengths to research every last one of them down to the most minute detail to capture that personality within the game. So action racing is about authenticity as well as pick up and play fun. And to accomplish that, Forza Horizon uses Forza 4's best in class graphics and physics technology and has the unrivaled handling model which makes Forza cars feel so weighty and realistic. So action racing is about pick up and play fun. It's also about legendary Forza authenticity. And Horizon proves you don't have to compromise on authenticity to achieve this kind of game. So I'm going to let Andy jump into the, the driving experience. Like I said, Forza Horizon is about showing off. It's about stylish and spectacular driving. So while Andy does things like weaving in and out of traffic, drifting, smashing through stuff, 
really driving in a cool and spectacular fashion. The game has a system which tracks that and rewards him with points. There are 30 skills and combos for you to learn and master within the game. And doing so gets you points and points turn into popularity. Now, your popularity within this world, within the Horizon Festival, is really key. Your goal, or at least one of them, is to become the most popular driver at the Horizon Festival. And doing that will yield great rewards, financial in terms of cars, and also opportunities. You'll be invited to ever more prestigious events within the Horizon Festival. Now, Her Horizon is also about the freedom of the open road. We've created a huge world of Colorado for you to explore. And Colorado has some of the greatest driving roads in the world whether it's a perilous mountain pass or a high-speed interstate. But there's more than just asphalt. There's also many farm tracks and dirt trails. So we knew right from the start that we were going to have to introduce off-road racing to the Forza franchise for the very first time. Now that's something we're really excited about at Playground Games. We have a lot of devs who have worked on some of the greatest off-road racing games, uh, like the Dirt franchise or Colin McRae Rally. So when you blend that experience with Forza's best-in-class physics, you get an unrivaled off-road racing experience. Andy's going to demonstrate that now. Best seen from bumper view because then you can really get a sense of exactly what's happening as this bumpy, undulating terrain meets the tyres and the suspension of the car. Now, Forza Physics updates 360 times every second, and you really need that fidelity of updates to accurately recreate everything that's happening as Andy travels across our varied surface types. Now, there are 65 different surface types within Horizon. It's not just asphalt and dirt, there are many nuanced combinations in between which give you a really varied and realistic off-road driving experience. So whether you're sideways around a corner in a dirt race, or whether you're hooning across a golf course, chasing your friend in one of our online multiplayer games, you're going to be getting an unrivaled off-road driving experience in Forza Horizon. One of the thrills of driving on the open road is the fact that the open road is populated with other cars, other drivers. Uh, and that's exactly what we've done here. We've used Forza's Drivatar AI system to populate our world with realistic, believable drivers. Whether they're civilian traffic, the good people of Colorado going about their daily business, or other festival traffic. Guys just like you who have brought their cars to the Horizon Festival and are showing off on the roads around them. Now, these guys all have personalities. They know what it is they want to do in the world, and they'll go about their business. They meet other racers, they'll, they'll start as boss racers. But whenever you meet them, wherever you are in the world, whenever it is, you can challenge them one-on-one -on -one to a race and win cash if you beat them. Now, better even than dri beating these, uh, these drivers is beating your friends, right? So Horizon tracks absolutely everything you do in the game. It compares it to people on your friends list, people uh, in your car club. So for example, Andy's just been through a speed zone here, and the game automatically tracks his average speed through it and compares it to someone on his friends list. And you can bet that that guy, next time he puts Horizon, is getting a message telling him that Andy has just beaten him. Horizon is always looking for ways to allow you to show off to and beat your friends. So we sent a bunch of uh, artists to Colorado last year. Um, to do a really in-depth reference trip. They took thousands upon thousands of photos and hours, hundreds of hours of video. But the one thing they all said when they, they got back is, you won't believe the view. And if you've been to Colorado, you'll know exactly what they mean. So we knew right away that we had to make some serious investment in technology to allow us to render the views. Now, Forza 4 has great views, right? We played the Bernie's Alp track, amazing vista. The difference in Forza Horizon is that if you can see it, you can drive to it. So that meant we had to create our new technology. We call it Uber LOD technology, or Uber LOD. And what Uber LOD allows us to do um, is draw up to 20 kilometers into the distance while still maintaining the level of visual fidelity that you've come to expect and demand for Forza game. Okay, let's uh, fast travel to a different part of the world now. Um, there's still more that I want to show you here. As I said, everything comes from the Horizon Festival. We knew we were making the festival, so we knew it was an open world game. We knew we were making an open world game, so we knew we had to implement a 24 hour day night cycle. It's the price of entry, right? So we were fortunate in that we could start with Quartz's image based lighting system, which does such a great job of seating the car in the scene. But we had challenges still to overcome. We needed to make that system dynamic, make it work in real time. 
that's exactly what we've done. Our engineers and our artists have worked really hard on a bunch of systems which all combine to give a beautiful day to night transition. We have a dynamic sky and cloud system. The sun itself is dynamic, moving across the sky and casting dynamic shadows. And we've introduced atmospheric scattering, which picks out individual particles in the atmosphere and gives this view such a sense of depth and realism. And if Andy cheats a little bit and fasts forwards uh, through the day-night cycle, you can see exactly what that does to the game. It has visual impact, but also it has gameplay impact. With a day-night cycle, the driving experience in Horizon is always changing. A road that you've driven during the day takes on a completely different complexion when you're driving it at night, lit only by the light of your headlights. Now, we've been building this game for a while, and as we build it, we play test it to make sure it's coming along in the right way. As we've been playtesting, a couple of recurring points have been fed back to us. And they're really simple. The first was that people would say, this world is so vast, I find it really easy to get lost. The second is kind of related. It's people saying, I don't know what to do next, or I'm never sure where to go next. Now, if you think about it, both of those are common open world problems. But we found them in our game, so we had to fix them in our game. We've actually fixed them using Kinect. Now, there's a lot of ambient noise around here, so I've actually disconnected the Kinect sensor. But I'm going to talk you through exactly what it does anyway. We have a GPS system working in the game, which I can operate using my voice while I'm driving. So if I say to it something like, a GPS, festival, auto show, then Forza's innovative green line shoots out in front of me and guides me to where I want to go. Now, I could equally have asked it for a different destination, or I could have asked it a different question. What's my next race? Where's my nearest event? And Connect would have intelligently answered those questions and guided me to where I need to be next. Two huge open world driving problems solved at a stroke using Connect. So we're driving to the Horizon Festival. We talked about the Horizon Festival as the place where competition meets culture. Now the cultural side of it, I guess, is pretty obvious. It's a huge summer music festival at like Coachella. And we've captured all the light, the sound, the crowds and atmosphere of that festival thanks in no small part to the, the input of Rob Devine. But it's also the place where the competition of the Horizon centers as well. Now your goal as a driver at Horizon is to be crowned the new Horizon champion. Uh, and you'll do that by returning frequently to the festival site where you can progress your single player career, both by entering festival races that are circuits and point to point. It's also the place you're gonna to come to uh, to jump online. You can set up car clubs with your friends, uh, you can jump into Rivals mode, which I'll talk about later. Or you can come here to indulge your car passion. Whether that's by painting your car, whether that's by upgrading it in the workshop, or coming to the auto show where you can browse and buy from our extensive and diverse car list in Horizon. So I'm not going to talk to you about specifics of our car list just now. We're still in the process of locking that down and that's something we'll talk more about across the summer. But what I can speak to, I think, is some of the selection criteria we've applied um, when choosing cars for Horizon. Uh, the first is a question. Does this car make sense within the context of the Horizon Festival itself? Is it a car that someone's going to be so proud of, so excited by, that they're going to drive it to Colorado and enter it into the racing competition? I guess that immediately precludes certain cars. So some of the lower-end cars don't make sense in that context. So you don't expect to see them um, in Horizon. The second question, it's about Colorado itself. Does this car take advantage of the many diverse driving experiences which Colorado offers? Remember, it's not just asphalt roads, it's off-road as well. So suddenly a whole range of cars make a whole load more sense within the context of Horizon. You'll have seen an Audi Quattro in our video, uh, a Mitsubishi Evo. Suddenly these cars can be let loose in their natural habitat. So those two questions are the lenses we've applied to our car list, and you'll see fruits of that when we release the car list later in the summer. Let's talk multiplayer. There's three things I want to talk to you about multiplayer and Horizon. Um, first of all, it supports a game, right? So you would expect a wide range of in-depth online multiplayer competitive racing. And we've got that. Any single player event you can enter, you can take online and race against the community. Secondly, I, I already mentioned that we have rivals mode. The rivals mode allows you to build a really intense one-to-one -one rivalry with a friend, or a member of your car club, or a member of the community, whether they are online or not. And we're going to be updating Rivals Mode every month after launch. 
to make sure that we're constantly bringing new experiences and new challenges to live business. Finally, I'm excited about Playground Games. Uh, Playground Games are based on the Playground modes that you might be familiar with in Forza 3 and 4. Really fun, um, non-racing games like Tag, like Cat and Mouse, um, which have become just as popular in Forza um, as the traditional racing modes. As soon as we knew about their popularity, we knew we had to bring them into Horizon. And that's what we've done, and suddenly by transplanting them into an open world, they just make more sense than we ever have before. Suddenly set free from the restrictions of the racetrack. So those are the three things I'm really excited about in multiplayer. And again, we'll be going deep into them over the summer, and we'll be telling you a lot more. So I've rattled through a whole bunch of things. I'm sorry if it felt rushed. I really want to tell you as much as I can about the game. Let me just recap. So Horizon is an action racing game. And that means pick up and play fun but it also means legendary Forza authenticity. Now the Horizon Festival we've built is a place where cars just belong. And the game is about speed and style and the freedom of the open road. Thanks for listening.